Hey folks, my name is Jürgen aka Nerd and Proud of It and Destiny has brought you to my channel today to talk about why I think the 30th anniversary edition didn't sell out and actually was pulled down by Wizards of the Coast. So the sale just happened over here, it um, took place at 1800 CET in Europe for me. Probably a different time wherever you are based, but um, I obviously tried to monitor a bit how the sale went and everything I saw uh, leads me to believe that uh, the product actually hasn't sold out. And I think that's awesome. Um, I don't think this was a success for Wizards of the Coast. I directly compare it with the 30th anniversary countdown kit, which uh, I monitored as well. And I actually um, looked at it uh, from a European perspective then too. And we actually had the sale up a little longer here in Europe, maybe maybe two hours longer than in the US. In the US, uh, the 30th anniversary countdown kit was sold out within minutes. Over here, it took hours. Um, this time I did the same. I refreshed the website, I tried to place an order, I didn't uh, actually order, yeah, and let's jump to, um, I recorded what I did, let's, let's uh, look at that while I'm talking about it. And I could order right away, no problem at all. The website said it would approximately take eight minutes. I think, yeah, we can we can just check it it uh, and we can wait for it. Somebody with a stopwatch. I, I don't think it took longer than a minute to actually get to the cart. Let's say max two minutes, but definitely not eight. And um, the funny thing is here it says, uh, unfortunately it's in German because my computer system is in German and somehow he switches to German every time, although I choose English, which is horribly annoying, but who cares? Um, it says in German that actually you can, once you've ordered, re-enter the queue and order more. So that five uh, copies limit went overboard pretty quickly, in my opinion, if they even ever had that in mind. Maybe they did it as a, as a, a precaution if uh, things would sell out quickly, which they obviously didn't, because as you will see, um, I went back, uh, emptied the cart, went back. Of course, I didn't order that shit, just to make sure. Um, don't don't like it, uh, said don't order it, and I didn't order it personally as well, No, so no worries. Um, went back and I just did the whole thing again, reloaded the website, did the whole thing again, and it actually was no problem at all to order it for about 30, 35 minutes. I even have a screenshot here um, after, I think, uh, 35 minutes, I tried to order it again from my phone. I was placed into the queue right away. I could just order five, no problem at all. So. This thing didn't sell out fast. And what I saw with the 30th anniversary countdown kit was that the stores were different in Europe and in the US. And that actually makes sense because they printed it already and then they shipped it to the warehouses and then they could ship it out pretty quickly so people could actually use it as an advent calendar. Is that the case here as well? Yes, I think it is, because it's very simple. They already handed these out. That means they already have printed them. That means they already exist. It's it's not a made to order thing. And that's why there are limited quantities, right? But then I recognized something peculiar. If there would be, which there obviously is because the European price is different to the US and we had no shipping costs. So there is a certain, there is a certain amount in the European warehouses and there is a certain amount in the US warehouses. Um, is there uh, a time difference between the time when they pulled down the sale? Like uh, in, uh, in uh, the case of the 30th anniversary uh, countdown kit, which I recognized, they were so like I was able to order it two hours longer than uh, my American friends. Um, no, they pulled it down exactly at the same time. I was sitting there, and at a certain moment, I couldn't order anymore. It said sold out, and at that moment, I was chatting with my Discord group, which has a lot of Americans uh, in them. Um, at that moment, it wasn't available for anybody anymore. So they pulled it down at the same time. So it's not that the 
actual amount they had available in the US sold out uh, or the other way around. Maybe Europe would, would have sold out quicker, quicker this time and they're not going to ship it back and forth. So that's a big, big sign for me that they pulled it down. It's, uh, it's not uh, because it sold out, it's because they pulled it down. Another big thing for me is very simple. Um, once you look at these kind of things, there will be always, always, it doesn't matter if it's action figures, it doesn't matter if it's uh, Magic the Gathering cards, and I had that with the 30th uh, countdown kit as well. Right after the sale, there will be people offering it on eBay for uh, a big markup. There is one available at the moment in Europe, and maybe it's a little more when you watch this video, but uh, yeah, it's uh, not a lot. And there are three available in the US, as you can see here on the screenshot. Um, maybe I should change my eBay settings or whatever, but I have them set to worldwide. So yeah, you see the US uh, stuff here. It's not a lot. Uh, I think uh, I already saw like 30, 40 countdown uh, kits uh, right after uh, the sale uh, stopped and it was sold out within minutes in the US and then the same get went for Europe uh, after they sold out after a couple of hours there were a couple on there but now there's only one so you really want to tell me some people talk about a print run of 30 to 50 thousand of these never never ever this is a big disaster it's uh, I'm, I'm glad I, I, I'm very sure this didn't work out for them and i'm glad because it's a good sign it's a good sign that the community is rejecting this it's a good sign that uh, we actually probably uh, won't get a product like this anymore um it is what it is folks this is all speculation of course uh, I, i'm i don't know for sure i will know for sure what the print run is because i got away i found a way to actually um get the number I won't tell you, but uh, I will tell you once I have it. And that's an interesting, an interesting uh, one. I just quickly wanted to uh, to talk about this. I, I, there's no chance, no chance this uh, this product has sold 30 to 50 thousand copies. Which, on the other hand, I think I think it's even lower than the uh, collector's edition print run. Uh, personally but again that's just speculation but that on the other hand means that uh, this is pretty rare <laughs> and it's fucking proxies so uh, people shouldn't care but they will um, and that makes it a bit tricky as well so yeah we're, we're gonna see about that quickly wanted to talk about that today um, I hope you enjoyed this video if you did leave me a comment uh, let me know what you think about the print run and let me know what you think if they pulled it down or if it sold out uh, very curious about that. Um, I want to thank uh, all my subs for supporting me and of course my Patreons for supporting me. That uh, helps me keep the channel independent and uh, actually give you my honest opinion about stuff like this in particular. Stay healthy folks, stay frosty, have a good night. Talk to you next time. Bye bye.